Indeed, a beautiful day for a World Championship Extreme Computer Testing Tournament, as you can see here today. And uh, John, why don't you tell us a little bit about the background of these competitors? This particular system is fresh from the Iditarod. What? The Iditarod, where it passed its cold weather test, and it's ready for more. Well, it looks like our uh, engineers here, the trainers, are bringing the 3000 up into position to get it ready for the beginning of this test. Now, as I understand it, the event that we are about to begin here, John, is the skydiving event. Is that not true? That's true, George. We're testing whether we can deliver the 3000 to remote locations efficiently. So uh, the way that we're going to do that is by attaching a parachute to the 3000 and simply dropping it into those remote locations. Is that you right? You got it, George. That's exactly what we're doing. John, if this actually works out, this will be one of the most amazing things uh, that's ever happened in the computer support industry. Well, I can see our engineer trainers here are getting the machine into position, and it looks like in just a moment or two, they'll be ready to begin the countdown for this completely unique extreme computer test, parachuting the HP 3000 down into the parking lot. John, what do you say we get a countdown together here and uh, we'll get things underway? I think we're about ready. The shoot in an open. My God, they forgot to shoot. Oh my goodness, the humanity, John. Oh my God, it looks bad, George. It looks really bad. That 3000 is down, and I think it slipped the disc. I see the machine in pieces all over the parking lot. We've had major damage here to the system cabinet, to the disc drive. The, the disc drive's not even a disc anymore. It looks more like sort of an oblong shape. But uh, this machine has really taken a beating. I think uh, the, uh, the uh, commission is going to have to look into this to find out whether or not this machine will ever be ready to run again. It looks like the engineers are gathering up the pieces and they're going to try to put this thing back together again. They are really concerned, George. I think we're going to have to go into the lab. Well, we've got some, uh, we've got some work going on here. And uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, John. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing here that the, uh, the lab engineer has got the, uh, the AC power reconnected and uh, and it uh, looks like we've got uh, one of the LEDs lit up on the front. My, that machine has power, John. I believe it does have power. George, we have diagnostics. It's not possible. After a beating like that for a machine to successfully be able to run diagnostics, why that, it almost looks as though that machine could boot up again. It, is it possible? It went through its uh, internal check. Everything's happy. So it still works. It still works. After I can take it off. John, I've never seen anything like this in 25 years of extreme computer testing. This is an unbelievable event and something that I think the commission is going to have to look closely at for the future. The HP 3000, it takes a dropping but comes up hopping. John, that's the worst line I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that wraps up our coverage today of the 25th Annual Extreme Computer Testing uh, Championship Bout. And the winner, once again, for the 25th year in a row, Hewlett-Packard's HP 3000. I... <laughs> <laughs>